brute force attack on login panel of web application so in this video what we are going to learn first of all i will show you that uh, what is the meaning of brute force attack and uh, how we can perform it and the explanation so for that i am going to show you brute force attack on a login panel of a live website right that we generally use uh, the volumeweb.com provided by kinetics company so i'm going to use the sample or testing website uh, for practical purpose so uh, do one thing open kali linux operating system and open the browser of kali linux so here i'm at kali linux operating system and first of all open the browser of kali linux and open that sample website or testing website so the testing website we generally use is volnaweb.com open this website and i'm going to use the php subdomain uh, this is the website so click on the second one testphp.volnaweb.com click on sign up and for example if i want to perform brute force attack on this login page right i want to perform because i have a list of username and the password and uh, i want to try on this login page how i can try what is the procedure to perform brute force attack on this username and the password that i'm going to show you here first of all i'm going to uh, use a tool which is uh, we already know burp suite right inside kali linux and by using burp suite uh, i will perform brute force attack on this website so without any delay first of all minimize the browser click on applications right and here you can click on web application analysis and here is the burp suite so open the burp suite we are going to use burp suite which is already available in kali linux operating system so let's use it to perform brute force attack on that particular login page of the website it is quite easy uh, if you learn it so click on next start burp and it's a free edition you can, if uh, you if you are working in a company so you can purchase it if you want but free version is still enough here it is so this is the burp suite free edition and uh, click on proxy so it is working on this proxy 127.0.0.1 so we need to change the proxy settings of our website so let me minimize burp suite open the browser and let me change it the proxy settings click on preferences advanced settings and click on manual proxy settings type the ip address here 127.0.0.1 type the port number 8080 tick here use this proxies for all servers and remove everything from here no proxy for all right click okay okay so i think uh, we have the same proxy inside our browser as well as inside uh, the burp suite now here is the burp suite so you can see here that spider is available scanner intruder repeater sequencer decoder compare so all these options are available here you can use it all these options doesn't matter all right okay so uh, now what we, what i need to do here i need to basically uh, capture a request from the website right so that i can use that parameter to perform brute force attack so uh intercept i need to on the intercept because it is already on you can if you click it it will become off if you click it it will become on so it is already on okay now open the website uh, do one thing type any wrong username and the password in the website and click on login button right doesn't matter what you use for example if i type the username is sam and uh, password is also i'm typing sam all right because i i have no idea what is the username and the password so i'm typing a wrong username and password so that i can create a query and click on login obviously it will not run because proxy is running in your browser but i think burp suite will catch it so click on http history and you can see here that in url area you can see user info.php is available right so click on that user info.php 
here are the details and here you can see that username and the pass is available here sam sam which we have basically uh, put in the login box so i got the query right that i needed do one thing right click here and send it to intruder click on intruder now intruder is an orange color so you can see the click on positions inside intruder and here you can see this is our uh, request which we have intercepted from the web browser so you can see here that two areas are highlighted one is uname and one is pass so we need this only if others are highlighted then try to remove that attack type so i need to click on cluster bomb right we need to select cluster bomb here okay everything is set here now click on payload so you can see here that payload set is one two one for username second for password so either you can add it one by one or you can also provide any file from here for username list right for example if i type four or five username random username the right username and the password is test test right so we already know that username and the password is test test right one but we want to try if this works or not so for example let me type one by one admin click add root click add guest click add and finally let me type the right one which is test we want to check that if burp suit works or not in brute forcing all right so four in the username now select two right and type the password so again i'm typing the same root and uh, anything you can type john sam and the final one is test you can put test anywhere doesn't matter all right so one are selected one for username list is already there and password list is already there everything is set now now you can click on start attack right here you can click on start attack let me click on that and click ok it will open up a new window and here it will perform brute force attack one by one it will take one username then password then another username and the password and it will provide you the status that uh, this is correct or incorrect so we just need to wait until it performs brute force completely let me drag it down so now it is going to complete here and it will provide us the right username and the password all right so you can see here that this is the window and uh, it has been finished you can see here that this is the username this is the password how we can check that which combination is right by using status so you can see the status carefully all are using 302 can you see any difference here here it is so this is the difference it is using 200 200 means this combination is correct 302 means this combination is not correct so you can see finally it has provided you information that this username and this password is correct test test is the right username and the password of the login page of the website so that's how you can perform brute force attack on any login page using burp suite all right so this is a simple example that how you can perform brute force attack on the login panel i hope you have learned so this is all about brute force attack and in the next video we are going to learn about local file inclusion attack on web application so thank you so much for your time